Hey everyone, Mark Ferguson with Invest for More here. I'd um, like to thank you for watching another one of my videos. Uh, today, I want to talk about some of my coaching programs. So, I get a lot of emails from people, a lot of questions from people asking if I can help them, if they can call me, if I can talk to them, and I'm a busy guy. So, I don't really have time to talk to people on the phone. I can answer emails, I answer Facebook comments, I do a lot of that, but I'm an active real estate investor. So I'm not a real estate coach. I mean, I do have some coaching programs, but that's not my main business. So in this video, I want to explain what I can do, how I can help people, some of the things I've created to help them invest in real estate better. So before we get into that, I'm just going to give you kind of my backstory in case you don't know who I am, what I'm doing. I created investformore.com to talk about my investing, um, being an agent, flipping, rental houses, all of that. I have over 400 free articles now, I think. So tons of free information. But for those of you who want a little more, a little more guidance, I did create some coaching programs. So I grew up in a real estate family. Um, you know, I was never dirt poor. I was never homeless like some of the other real estate coaches I hear about. Um, but I also had some struggles in my career too. So when I was three, four, I was sleeping under my dad's desk while he was in the office. He is a real estate agent. He got licensed in 1978. Um, you know, right before I was born. Well, my whole life I grew up around real estate. My sister's in property management. She has rentals. Um, my mom helped with the business. And you would think naturally, I'd want to go into real estate. I'd want to do it. I'd be pumped about it. But I wanted nothing to do with it. I did not want to be a real estate agent. I didn't want to be an investor. I wanted to make my own path. So I went to college, got a degree in business finance. Thought I'd be a banker or something like that. And after college, I could not find a job that suited me well. So I thought, I'll just work part time with my dad till I figure out this real estate or figure out my own, you know, career. And 15, 16 years later, here I am, still an agent, still an investor, and I really love the business. So I'm glad I fell into it. But, you know, that wasn't always what I wanted to do. And when I first started out, I became a licensed agent and I helped my dad flip houses once in a while. Um, you know, he did a few flips here and there. And so I really liked the flipping part. The agent part, I wasn't so good at. I wasn't good at calling people, wasn't good at talking on the phone. Um, I wasn't good at going out and finding that business. So it didn't suit me perfect. In the first four or five years, I struggled, did not make much money. Um, you know, we flipped some houses, made some money there. Um, and in 2006, I had this brilliant idea that I would do all the work myself on a flip. So I went in there, I replaced windows, doors, carpet, flooring, um, Replaced the kitchen, tore down a wall, replaced bathrooms, replaced light fixtures. I did everything I could. It was a huge pain. I hated every moment of it. It took me six months to finish that stupid house. I made no money on it because it's 2006 and the market started to turn. And I spent so much time on it. All the carrying costs, the loan costs, the utilities took away all the profits. Plus, I had to bring a contractor in to help fix the stuff I messed up because I didn't know what I was doing. And I had to pay him money too. So I learned a really good lesson that year. One, do not do the work yourself on a flip. <laughs> and also, I learned a lot about construction, and I learned opportunity cost is huge. While I was flipping that house, I was not looking for new deals. I wasn't selling any houses as an agent. I made under $30,000 that year. It was not a fun year. It was not good. I was in huge amounts of credit card debt because I owned a house You know, at that time. I had a car. Um, it wasn't very much fun. So from that point forward, I decided I was going to take charge of my life. I started setting goals, um, going after more flips, going after more business, writing everything down. And eventually I became an REO HUD listing broker. I was selling 200 houses a year as an agent, started building my team, bought out the entire business from my dad, started flipping more houses, um, bought rental properties in, starting in 2010. So I love rentals. Um, there's such an awesome investment as far as cash flow, uh, potential appreciation, buying below market value. Um, I knew they were the best investment, even though you know I was looking at franchises, businesses, um, stock market, mutual funds, any way I could invest my money, kept coming back to rentals as the best way to do it. So I bought 16 rentals the next five years. And the cool thing about those rentals is thanks to getting awesome deals on them and refinancing them, the market going up as well. Um, after selling two properties last year, I sold two of my least performing, least favorite properties. I ended up 
having none of my own money invested in those properties. So I make $7,000 a month off them, and I have about $1.5 million in equity for my rentals, and I didn't invest any cash into them. I got all my cash back out. Pretty cool. So I'm trying to buy a lot more rentals. And um, the flipping business has been going fantastic. I don't know if you can see it behind me right there. That's our little whiteboard with all our flips. I have 16 going on at the moment. Keeps us busy. I um, have a lot of contractors to manage. I have a project manager on my team. Um, I could not do all this myself. And speaking of contractors, we're just at the Home Depot appreciation event uh, this week where they send, you know, your pro members can go there. And right now we're the leading contractor. I'm not even a contractor, but technically we're the leading contractor in our home store at Home Depot because we've spent $60,000 two months into the year. So we're, we, we spend a lot of money on our flips, um, do a lot of business with them. They like us. But um, with those flips, we're making about $30,000 in profit on each one, um, finding them from MLS, off-market, uh, wholesalers, auctions all over the place. And I'm in Colorado, which is one of the hottest markets in the country, and you can definitely flip in any market, any place in the country. You just have to know what you're doing. So I've um, got the flips, got the rentals, got my real estate team. I have six licensed agents on my team. I'm an agent. I don't sell anymore, really. I have my team do all of it. But you know that's a great business as well. And then I have the blog where I've written books. I have a best-selling book on rentals, um, all the articles, podcast, all kinds of things going there. So with all that, I do get emails, people asking me questions. I try to respond to them all myself. But for those people looking for a little more extra coaching, time to talk with me, um, you know, detailed email responses from me, I did create some coaching programs. So one of those is the complete blueprint for successful real estate investing, which is focused on rentals. Um, just got done with a call that today on that today. Um, had a few people on the call. They're not busy calls. I give short presentations and have time, you know, usually half an hour to answer anybody's questions on anything they want to ask me. Do two of those every month. And those last for at least six months. But um, I have people in the program for two years. I don't kick you off after six months. I just do that so that I'm not locked in to doing calls for the rest of my life. <laughs> I have an ending point in case I quit at some time. Um, you get at least six months of calls with me, um, but probably much longer. As long as I keep doing the program, you will be in it. Um, along with that, audio CDs, MP3 files, videos, a huge guide with like 300 pages of information. And you can email me questions, and I personally answer those as well in that program. Now, that's probably the best way to learn about rental properties. And along with that program comes a fix and flipping program I created. Video course goes through everything I do, how I set up my business, how I find deals, how I finance them, um, how to build you know, multiple flips at one time. It's not easy. So that is included if you buy the complete blueprint as well. So you get the fix and flipping course and the rental property course. And I'm not out there charging 30 grand, 50 grand like some of these other coaching seminars will do not 20, not even 10. Um, actually, the whole thing is under $1,000. And if you use video 50, it takes 50% off. So for under $500, you get access to all the material, both programs, calls with me, emails with me. And uh, yeah, I've helped a ton of people. It's really cool hearing stories on how they bought properties, how they flip properties, how I've helped their business. And yeah, this is not my main gig. I'm still an active investor today, obviously, in 2017 with all my flips, with my rentals, with my team. So this is not how I make my money. This is just mostly how I help others. Yes, I charge because my time is valuable and I need to get something back for it. But, you know, if you want a pretty cool real estate coaching program at a great price, I think it's a pretty nice deal, a good program. And if not, hey, I've still got tons of free articles you can read. I've got my books, which are pretty awesome and in-depth as well, the podcast. Anything I can do to help out, I'm happy to do it. If you want to pay for some of my insights, great. If you want free stuff, great. Um, hopefully, one of those avenues will help you to become a better investor, a better flipper. And I even have an agent program, which I'm not focused on here. But um, if you're looking to become a better real estate agent, I might be able to help you out as well. So um, if you want to check out more information on the program, see what it's all about, uh, there'll be a link in the comments on this video if you're watching on YouTube. And video 50, again, is the discount code to get 50% off. If you have any questions, you can always email me, mark at investformore.com. 
that is me responding. I'm responding on our Facebook page. I'm responding on Twitter. Um, I have a great team who helps me out with a lot of stuff, and that's how I manage to get everything done. So I do have help, but I try to be the one personally responding when people reach out to me. And again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.